G'day everyone, I'm Wayne Nelson from Wayne Nelson Fine Art and this is a video on how to paint a tiger. What could be better than having a beautiful tiger painting hanging on your wall, someone comes in and says, oh my god, where did you buy that from? You say, take a good look, look at the signature. I painted it myself. I'm going to show you how to draw the tiger on canvas, how to paint the tiger, what paints I use, what brushes I use, and how easy it is. I'm going to go through it step by step, so let's get cracking. Right, here's the tiger that I've selected. I just found this image off the internet. I love the huge shoulders and those forearms. Now, I used Photoshop to just to break the picture up, but you can print out a picture and do the same thing. Then I mark the canvas the same, so I've just broken it up into quarters. And the tiger that we're going to paint won't be laying in the grass, I'm going to paint it in the snow. It'll be a wonderful contrast. So I'm just dividing my canvas up. I just use lead pencils. Using the lines will allow you not to make mistakes. It can get very messy with pencils. And then just using the image which is divided just basically work out where your lines will run through the divisions in the board. You get the outline of the animal. And then once you've got outlines, it's a lot easier then to fill in the gaps, the stripes and things. And just look for shapes and things in the drawing, in the in the tiger itself. Their face, especially when looking front on, I mean the, the stripes, pe people might think that they're a bit daunting, but their stripes have a pattern and it's almost like a mirror. And they're circular on the face, especially when the tiger's looking front on. And just basic lines. There's no need to colour the full stripes in because we'll be painting those in just following the lines. There we go, there's the, the tiger virtually drawn on the canvas. I actually ran out of videotape, was I would have continued on. Not quite happy with the face. So it's going to concentrate on getting that just right before we're finished drawing and we can start painting. Yes, being a very focused artist, I didn't realise that the video had run out of tape, which was unfortunate. But like I said, I wasn't happy with the face, so just a little bit more detail. Alright, well that's a little better. I'm not entirely happy with it. but. I've got it to the point where I can start to paint the tiger. Just remember that I've broken the board into quarters. You can add a lot more lines. The more lines you put in, the easier it will be to transfer the image onto the canvas. So now we're ready to paint. In the next video, How to Paint a Tiger Part 2, I'm going to show you the paints used and the technique used to do a wonderful painting of a tiger beautiful Siberian tiger lying in the snow. I'm going to add the snow on the fur and all that sort of stuff. And the white with the beautiful gold and yellow in the tiger and the, that black will really look fantastic. Thanks for watching everyone.